You are checking in with your girl Brie on the spin. Number one for today's hottest news, entertainment, everything going on and around the Tallahassee area. I got a special guest in the building with me right now. Family member, of course, and <laughs> great look artist, grinder, anything you want to call him, he is. Well, not anything. We're not gonna say that. But what's up? What's what popping? What popping, cuz man? Let them know who you are. Yeah, yeah, man. It's Al Street Low, man. You got a real life leprechaun. I know a lot of people out there ain't never seen a leprechaun before, but you know, you tuned in on one right now, you feel? All right. Yeah. So, the tell me a little bit more about the Green Leprechaun. Like, what it, what it, what was the whole gist around you creating it? The Green Green Leprechaun came about, you know, I'm from the Al Street, you know, Pokey, Florida, and our color is green. And just so my grandma's favorite color, her favorite color green. So, you know, I my my, my block playing green. So I was like, man, you know, I was watching a leprechaun movie and I said, man, I kind of favor the le leprechaun. You know, everybody <laughs> called me short, which I'm short, you, you know. Are. And mm -hmm. I like gold and I like money. And the leprechaun, like, he got the same characteristics as me. You know, he like money. I like money. He like gold. I like gold. So what was kind of one of your favorite songs that you've ever created, whether it's on this one or anything else you've ever done, what was one of your most favorite songs and why? My most favorite song would definitely have to be By My Lonely. Okay. That's on this project right here. Alright, now what's the motivation behind that song? By My Lonely is, you know, along the along my journey to success or whatever, man, I had a lot of people promise me stuff saying they're going to do this and do that for me or whatever the case may be. And they never came through for me. Mm -hmm. And the type of person I am, like, once you tell me something, I'm going to hold your word. Your word is law with me. And they broke that. So this song came about, you know, I just put all my pain, my blood, tears, everything, sweat into it. And just like, man, I'm going to speak on how I feel in this song. And I just felt like I'm 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 by my lonely with this mm -hmm. shit, you know. Besides my team, but I'm by my lonely with. It. I got it from the mud. I'm getting it from the mud. There's no help, you know. Nobody is putting me on the platform. I'm forcing my way on that platform. Right. You said, um, you know, people switching up, people changing, things like that. What keeps you humble, motivated, and you know, to keep continuing, knowing that doors are being cut in front of your face and things like that? What keeps you going? Real talk, my family and mm -hmm. God. My family definitely though, man, and God, they they support me through everything. No matter no matter if I'm wrong or right, you know, they snatch me up, and that's one thing I love about my family. You know, besides the success, they're not scared to say, "Low, you you messing up. Right. You need to do this, huh? You need to stop." You know, and that keeps me humble because every time I like when I go back home, they treat me like little Tammy. Mm -hmm. They don't treat me like Al Street, mm -hmm. and that's what I like. That's what I love. You know? So. What keeps your music different from a lot of these other artists out here right now? You know, we have Future. Everybody got that Future beat. Everybody yeah. has that Atlanta <laughs> dancing music, things like that. What keeps your music separate from what everybody else is doing? I be me. Mm -hmm. I be me. You know, I listen to I listen to a lot of people's music, but at this point in time, like, I just do me. I make music that makes me happy. M music that I can make other people feel good about themselves, you know. I don't focus on, you know, what I need to sound like. You know, whatever feeling and emotion I'm in today, that's what I'm going to record it. No matter if it's sad, no matter if it's, it's a turn-up song, no matter if it's a love song, you know, I'm going to give you Al Street Low. I'm not going to give you, you know, a bit of future, uh, a bit of, you know, future I already got. You, We already got a future. Right. You don't have an Al Street Low yet. Okay. So, who is... An artist that you would like to be featured on, featured with, or work with on a project? Who's one artist you could say you would want to be with? Oh, um, that, that, I definitely want to work with Trick Daddy before, you know, Whoa. before I, I die, uh, you know. Why Trick Daddy? Man, I admire Trick so much, you know. I, I admire what Trick, besides Trick Daddy being a rapper, I admire, admire the truth and the facts that he speak about the ghetto mm -hmm. in the hood, you mm -hmm. know. He keep he keep it real with you, you know. Even though it's not what everybody wanna hear, you know, people don't don't you know, they don't they don't listen to trick like they used to because you got all these characters coming out now with all this other crazy shit. But man, Trick just he told you how to how to be a gangster, but he told you how to be a gangster the right way. He told you that you put your family first, you know. I know you I know you out here in these streets, young boy, that's cool. But make sure you're doing it for a purpose and you just ain't out here just slanging pistols and running crazy. Right. You know, make sure you, 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 you support your family, man. So, do you agree with society when they kind of say rappers leave an impression on the youth when it comes to your music, your lyrics, and things like that? Do you agree with that type of society rule yeah. they kind of put on you? I, I agree with it. I agree with it. 
you know, because the music music is a it it it, it challenges your your feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. So if somebody listens to a song a song that's a turn up song, of course they're gonna they you know they're gonna turn up with right, you. Right. If they listen to a sad song. You know, they gonna start thinking about you know all of the heartaches and, and the pain that they go through. You know, so I definitely believe that you know that challenges that. Okay, well look, you said it best. You are out here doing it. The grind is real. What is it like? I want to say not losing focus of what your main goal is. What? I'm really trying to figure out the right way to ask this question. It's kind of <laughs> like what keeps you grinding, like. I know there's times where you're tired, there's times where you're kind of like, oh, I can't do this, or I don't want to do this no more, or that door hasn't opened yet. What keeps you grinding? Being 100 with you, I need a bag. Ugh. I need a bag. My people still in the slums. We still in the trenches. We still in the ghetto. Right. My mama still stay in an apartment. You know, like I'm not, I'm not set. I'm not financially set. I need a bag, man. So I'm, I'm working hard. Whatever I gotta do to get that bag, you know, I got all my team, my whole team in, in here with me. You know, they got families too that they gotta feed. They ain't just doing this for their health. You know, everybody got families, man. And we gotta, we gotta make, we gotta be the providers for our family. We men. So mm -hmm. that's my, that's what my whole, my whole establishment is built, built off. You know, family. Get that bag, secure that bag. Take care of family, man. Listen. I don't know who could say it better. I don't know what y'all out here. If y'all ain't listening to it, downloaded, <laughs> anything like that. So, look, let the people know where they can find it at. And I'm going to play just a little bit of it for them before we go ahead and get up yeah, out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, listen. Y'all can get that. I just dropped my mid-take, Green Leprechaun. It's on audiomac.com. It's on datpiff.com. It's on SoundCloud. It's on YouTube. You know, Go on there, uh, download it, or you can go on my website also, www.avstreetlow.com, you know, and look up some more information about, you know, the tour dates and all that, that shit that's coming, my fault, <laughs> <laughs> the tour dates and stuff that's coming up, but, yeah. And let them know that social media where they can get at you, follow you, keep updated with what's going on with Av Street Low. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all now though, I'm finna give y'all my Snapchat, but I'm letting <laughs> you know, I turn up on the chat. It, it go down in the chat, it go down in the DM, man. <laughs> my Snapchat is Av Street Low YNC. Spell it out, G. A-V-E-S-T-L-O-Y-N-C. My uh, IG is Ash Street Low A V E S T L O and Twitter. So is Twitter and Facebook. Everything is the same. Okay, well look, like I said, I'm gonna give y'all a little taste of it before we get out of here. But it was a pleasure talking to you and Thank glad you. to see you and finally get you in here. It's been a while. Hey, hey, I've been trying to get in here forever, <laughs> but you know you gotta be patient. Man. And we got it, and right. we're definitely gonna keep y'all updated and posted with all of this. So look, I love you. They gonna love you. So thank you, and y'all check it out. Like I say, here thank come a little you, bit of it though, but y'all check it out. Y and C. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs>